He's coming for me. He wants me to watch the shitty sequel. <laughs> Good evening. Now you're adrift in a sea of lies. A foolish villain in an endless shelter. The demons running behind your eyes. A simple shadow we can find together. Hey Mission Radio World and welcome to Halloween month. This is my first proper Halloween review for the actual uh, month itself. Uh, so it's taking so late uh, to actually properly do one. I've been very busy with uni work, hopefully you understand that. And last night I watched a horror movie for the very first time. Um, I haven't seen it before, this is the very first time I watched it. Uh, which is quite surprising being the fact that I review quite a few uh, found footage movies that I actually haven't seen one of the originals, adaptions. So. Um, I watched The Blair Witch Project, and guess what, I'm going to review it for you guys. And yeah, look, a few things to say about it. So let's talk about The Blair Witch Project. Why did you break up the sun? The film was released in 1999. It was one of the very first early movies to do this kind of found footage genre. Uh, the last broadcast, and uh, I think it was um, Cannibal Horror Course, I think it was called, uh, one of the video nasties back in the day. I did something very different, and it's been the template, I think, perfectly honest, of all the found footage movies uh, from uh, 1999. And it's obviously sparked a huge you know, interest within the genre. It's made so many fantastic movies from it. Other movies have tried to copy it and ripped it off. <laughs> It's quite interesting to see this movie now uh, from an actual certain mindset, you know, seeing so many different found footage movies out there, uh, seeing them doing it fantastically well, like, you know, Grave Encounters, uh, The Day of Past Incidents, so many other movies, and to go back to one of the original roots, you know, one of the original kind of movies that sparked it all, in a sense, was quite interesting, and, you know, I'm glad I finally got around to watching it. Uh, the actual directors have gone on to do with projects. Uh, one did the uh, Lovely Molly uh, feature film, another did uh, VHS 2 short, uh, Ride in the Park, another did The Ejective. So they both got out there, and they've both done some other projects since then, and uh, directing work and some written work so uh, yeah it sparked their careers massively within Hollywood land in a sense and it's interesting looking at this movie now uh, back from when it was first released when people praised it and loved it and all type of stuff. The storyline for Blair Witch Project follows uh, three filmmakers are going into the woods to basically explore the, the legend of the, Blair, of the Blair Witch in a sense and try to explore uh, what happened to her, her methods, you know, with the, the victims that she killed and of course things go very, very wrong. They go into the woods, of course, and uh, they're basically lost. It's, it's like they've closed, it's like the woods themselves have actually physically closed themselves off. They keep going around in a circle, they keep backtracking where they are, they're practically stuck in the forest. And it seems like they have messed with supernatural forces, which they have not should have done. And uh, that's the main story of it, of course. It's just three friends, three filmmakers making a documentary, and they got in too deep, and you know, they basically, something is basically saying, you know, you're fucked in a sense. Now, I felt the movie was better than I thought it was going to be. You know, going in a certain mindset, keeping an open mind, I watched it from start to finish. Um, I thought it was very good for what it was, especially for the time it was made. I felt it was uh, quite unique, and I really see how other movies are taken and try and, you know, steal some of the ideas or try and use uh, the style of the actual uh, Blair Witch Project itself. And it's interesting looking at it now, when like I said before, and uh, I actually quite enjoyed it for what it was. I, I, I thought it was better than I thought it was. I love the survival aspect, the characters trying to like, you know, turning each other, you know, basically just breaking in the sands because, you know, you're stuck in a forest, limited supplies, and there's something practically uh, making sounds that you, you know, leaving stuff behind while you're asleep in the night. You know, that's pretty scary in all fans. That's, that's not a very nice, comforting feel. And I really liked uh, that aspect of it, and I really like how the characters are interacting with each other. I mean, the fact it's only three people, um, I think it was a bit more uh, simpler to try, you know, get get to relate to these characters, get to know who they are and their motivation. And you know, a lot, a lot, the, the three characters in the movie are not douchebags or anything on those lines. They're completely nice characters that can get on board. They're filmmakers, they're passionate, they're like they want to do something unique. And I really liked all three characters. I'm perfectly honest. I can see why they're breaking and why they're, you know, losing their shit in a sense. Um, I felt. Um, I want a little bit more of the scares in the sense. You know, I said this to my friend. Um, I, I, I appreciated what they did in some of the creepy moments, the screaming outside and the, the rustling of the, of the tent and all that type of stuff. But I wanted just a little bit more. I felt that, you know, if, if there's something out there, there's a supernatural force out there, of course, and it's messing with you, I just wanted just a little bit more scares, just something to kind of like, you know, go, holy crap. I'm, I'm not, exp I understand the fact, you know, you could say, well, you know, I'm used to certain type of movies, like, you know, Grave Encounters, of course, like that in VHS. 
chat and all that type of stuff. You know, the, the level of you know found footage has gone to a whole new level of budget and all that type of stuff, and you know special effects and all that. But I still think even then they still could have just one or two more scares. That's all I was asking, and I was quite disappointed with the ending overall. Uh, when they got into the, uh, the the final act, the location, and they just kind of ended, I was kind of like, nah, that was a little bit, you know, unsatisfying ending in a sense. You know, again, I'm not expecting like a full-on like, finale, explosive ending in a sense. You know, like lots of ghosts coming out of nowhere. I just wanted something to kind of keep, something, an image to put in my mind to say, whoa, that was interesting kind of thing. Like, or maybe like, the Blair which got them in the end or something along those lines. Just something to say, you know, they're screwed, you know, in a sense, and I would have liked that. It just kind of ended, and I was a little bit like, oh, okay, I want a little bit more than that. The film is done quite well for what it is, and, you know, it's filmed, of course, you know, via VHS T cameras, and I felt, um, um, people said it's a little bit like, you know, sickly and shaky too much. I'm thinking, not really. I, there's been a lot more of the movies today, which I, I think, perfect guys, are way too shaky. Evidence was a very shaky movie in terms of like the camera work fucking everywhere in a sense. Uh, this movie is quite steady in terms of camera work and you know, natural shots, just, you know, obviously someone's holding it, but I didn't think it was sickly or anything was or dizzy, what type of thing. There's a documentary apparently on the DVD which actually explores. Um, the kind of, you know, the uh, the theories of the Blair Witch, I haven't got around to watching yet, I will do soon. Overall, I thought the film was done quite well for the time, I like the character, I like the creepiness, I like the atmosphere, I like some of the locations, I like the survival aspect between, you know, constantly going in a circle and the, the forest not letting them leave and all that type of stuff. I think some of the techniques and some of the style was done quite well, for considering that it was done on a very low budget, straight to like, you know, um, amateur uh, graduate students making a feature film, I think they did quite well and, you know, to make out a movie which was so popular back in the day, with practically no, you know, no major huge Hollywood cast in a sense, was done very, very well and I can appreciate a lot of the techniques and a lot of passion that people put into it. Do I think it's one of the scariest movies out there, kind of thing, like people have said, definitely not. Um, I think there's other movies that are much more scarier, but at the same time, I can understand why people, at the time of this film was released, could think it. It was done differently, it was original, and you know, I can understand why people love this movie so much. So, though, which projects I'm really happy I, I go into watching it and uh, you know, having my opinion on camera, of course. So, what do you think of the, uh, the Blair Witch Project? I'd love to know your opinion. Comment down below. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? I'd love to know your opinions. Uh, so, in the meantime, aren't you familiar with Fun Game TV? Sign out. <laughs>